This one you must buy your own. Can you share with me? I've gotten for myself a handsome guy that is servicing my engine. I knew it. You know what? I knew it must be a guy. <laughs> so, can you tell me who is he? My darling, this guy is more than the word cute. Oh my god. He's so tall. Fair. You're spec. He's huge. He's got six bags. Wow. Ah! So, so what? <laughs> Would you mind sharing? Relax, I'm getting for myself a new chicolo. So would you mind sharing with me? I will pay. I beg your pardon? Share what? I beg. Come on, buddy, for this one. I'm telling you. I am so in love with this guy. In fact, I'm hearing wedding bells already. Oh. Here comes the bride. You are already talking about marriage. Why not? I remembered when you pleaded with me to share Jones with you. Have you forgotten so soon? I remember all that. But then, that guy is different from this your person that you just mentioned now. I no go share. Okay. This is my husband to be. So chill. So how old is he? How was that? What's what? Come on now, you're too enlightened for this kind of question. Age is just a number. What matters here is what we feel for each other. You're right. And I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So, I need something to drink. Ah. Well, listen, listen to me. This is not working. Okay? It's over between us. It's another girl, right? You met a rich girl that bought you a car and probably promised you heaven and earth, isn't it? Yes. Kevin, why are you doing this to us? Why? Is that because of a car? Is this what this relationship is what to you? I've moved on. I moved on a long time ago. I suggest you do likewise. From your mouth, Kelvin. You look me in the eyes and you tell me to move on. How do you expect me to do that? I can't. Kevin, why have you decided to break my heart into a million pieces? The same way you have been toiling with my heart and sleeping with so many other men out there. Why are you acting like a... You are just nothing but a pretender. You think I wouldn't know? You think I would not know? Kelvin, you know what you're saying is not true. You're accusing me wrongly, you know it is not true. I don't know who is feeding you with all of those lies. You are a terrible liar. You are nothing but a monster. Kelvin. Leave this place and never show your face here again. Is that what you really want? That's what I want. Fine. I will leave. I will leave and never return back to this place. Do you know my greatest joy? That I have not given you my body. My boss was right all along. That you do not deserve a beautiful and a nice girl like myself. And I believe her 100%. I will walk away with my virginity still intact. You know what? Just...
You are a fool. What did I call you? A compound fool. That is what you are. You allowed her to leave. No, no, no. You, you chase her away. A virtuous woman that God delivered to you in a daughter of gold. Ah, Kevin. You've also been deceived. You think she's a virtuous woman? No. She's not a virtuous woman. She's nothing but a public toilet. Hmm. That's what she is. Public toilet. So you want a private toilet, right? Oh. So you sold your love for a maker. A maker. Ah. I'm watching you. My eyes are on you. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit. <laughs> Don't you think he's too young for you? Now what? What's all this being too young and age? What is your problem? You will not understand what this guy does to me. What he does to the system. Ah! That guy has the sweetest thing in between his thumbs. <laughs> we are one of a kind. You and me. You. Of course, you're quite different. I'm different. Oh. Why? You're married. I'm not. Oh, that yeah. one. You see, Barnabas was the worst mistake <laughs> I ever had. Hey, no matter how much he showed love for me and the kids, he still remains my worst mistake. <laughs> how? How do you mean? You see, that one minute, man. I married him when I was young and naive. And then it was an abomination testing before marriage. That was the end thing. I know. You see, on the night of our wedding day, my husband took away my virginity. And he was so mad with joy. He had to even show his parents the blossom on the bed sheet, you know, as a sign that he married a virgin. On that night of our wedding day was the beginning of my misery. Barnabas has never given me a good quality sex until I met you. And you now open my eyes on how to pay before they screw you. <laughs> yeah. Now what are friends for? Come on. I mean, I couldn't have imagined, you know, you running back to me now and then telling me how you're suffering in your marriage. It was too bad. I mean, would I have done without you? Absolutely not, right? So, can I see your friend? Oh, sure, why not? I'll call him. Is that my beck and call? But hey, we are not sharing. I want to walk down the aisle with this one. I just want to love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. What is my crime? Hello, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> I'm good too. So, where are you at the moment? Baby, can you come over to my place right away? Ah, uh, of course you know that I love you back. Mm, I'm waiting. I can see my baby is in love. I am deeply, in fact, I'm madly in love with this guy. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You know, some people find love their old age, why some find their love in a young age. 
Well, either ways, I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. Now enjoy your wine. So, where's your uncle? Ah, please. You don't want to drink? <laughs> Chelsea! <laughs> Chelsea, my word is crumbling! Please, I okay. <gasps> Your friend is not okay. Your friend is not okay at all. Calm down. Tell me why. Calvin G turned me for one rich babe. We did not. We were cool. We were fine. And what happened? I don't know. I really do not know Chelsea. He dumped me for one rich girl that got him a car. He wasn't rich. He told you he's not like you. Which same guy would you get I don't even understand. For real. Kevin is, is accusing me of so many things. Things that I don't that I don't even know about. And what, what did he accuse you? Kevin said that I am Mona Lisa. That I lied to him. I lied to him about the, the, the car that I use in my boss's office. Kevin said I'm a prostitute. Kevin said that I am a monster that breaks men's hearts. And that he intends to do to me what I do to innocent men that are vulnerable. I don't understand why would Kevin say such a thing to me. If that was the case, I think so. <sighs> do you think so? I mean, there is no point. He already called off the engagement and I came back to return his ring back to him. What is the point? No, Chelsea, tell me what is the point? I do not care to know who this rich babe is and I don't care to know who she is. I don't want to know her. There is no need. There is no point. She should just, he should move on and do whatever he thinks he wants to do. No, you will have to find out and to blow your mind to know that this is <sighs> Alright, Chelsea. I've heard it. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Don't be quiet. What's keeping him? Or am I going to wait for your prince charming forever? Oh, so just... Relax, he will soon be here. Or maybe I should just call him again. Yes, call him. Hello, baby. What's keeping you? Oh, you're close by. All right, sweetheart. Vanity, He's very close. I told you he was so we stay and wait for this guy that's eating deeply into your soul. I love him so much. To tell you the truth, maybe I saw this guy. I decided to settle down. Babe, have I not tried? You have really tried. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just find you. So I would have nobody. Please be still. So I would have nobody. Please.
start to cry Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know God is near Can't you see, can't you see, can't you see He knows your struggle Everything is gonna be alright I have missed you so much. You know that I missed you much more. Alright. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Very well. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetheart, that's my friend. Her name is Beatrice. Beatrice, my love. Hi. Hi. Uh, your face looks so familiar. Uh, have we met before? No. No, not at all. You sure we've not seen anywhere? Oh, I don't know. Me? Yes. <laughs> That's not possible. I have never met you before. That's the truth. <laughs> See how? Yes, baby. Let me go upstairs and wait. Alright. Come on. I'm coming. Don't keep me waiting. No. <laughs> I'm coming, sweetheart. I'm coming. Alright. Can't you see, can't you see, can't you see? He is watching you. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. For you. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. Just for you. I know him. I am very sure of that. How sure are you that you know this guy? I am very sure. Alright, how? Um, where? Where? Let me know. Well, that will be a story for another day. As for now, I have to be on my way. Just have your phone with your lover boy. Oh, sweetheart, not so fast. I mean, you're talking about my lover here. Let me know how you met him. That's it. I will tell you, for not today. Whenever we see, I will tell you. I have to go. You. Yeah. Now, baby, go. Baby, kill yourself. Mm. I will. I'll go with your baby. Sure will. I hope Kelvin is not sleeping with Beatrice. If I realize that both of them are having something behind me. <laughs> I will not hesitate to throw this guy away like a piece of trash. But before I do that, I must make sure I strip him off everything that I've given to him. Every heart needs a friend The trust in times of needs do you also sleep with my friend? Excuse me. Oh, please don't give me that excuse me crap! Answer the damn question! Do you or do you not? Is this how low you think of me? I'm going to ask you this question for the very last time. Do you sleep with my girlfriend Beatrice or not? Oh! So young man, all you do in life 
is to go about the whole of Saba sleeping with women. Is that it? Wow. What a pity. Kevin, you listen to me. If you dare walk out of this room, be rest assured that you're losing everything that I've given to you. Starting with my car. I'm not kidding. Kevin! Oh! This is all he does. What a shame. To hell with you and this car. Did you hear me? To hell with you and this car. If you if, if you if you call my name, if you call me fine bros again. You will regret this. Kelvin? Do I know you? Yeah, Susan. Susan. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Susan, from where? I, I cannot place this face. From Desu, Abraka Political Science Department. You look so good. <laughs> My goodness, been a while. Yeah. Kill me! My goodness! Oh my God! Oh, yeah. Is it, what what department? Is it? Um, post science department. Post science department. Mm -hmm. Well, I if you say you're from Delta, it's fine. I, I I just can't place the face. But yes, I I, I went to Delta, so it's possible that you know me. But I know understand. That, yeah. How are you feeling? I, I'm, I'm good. I'm my good. Goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. So good to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kelvin. Kelvin. We've been here for some time now. You've not said anything. Are you okay? Kelvin. I'm okay now. I'm okay. Okay. Um, I heard you jilted Mona Lisa. Because of what you heard, which is not true. But sincerely, guy, you know, try at all. You should have verified the information before, before you confronted her. All I heard about her is true. How did you know those bunkers are true? Because she did not deny it. I heard she, your new girlfriend got you a new car. So where is it? She collected it yesterday. <laughs> Why? How? What happened? She accused me of cheating on her with her best friend. Did you cheat on her with her best friend? Ah! I said it. What were you thinking? Eh? Kelvin. What were you thinking? What do you even take me for, Johnson? Okay. What exactly do you take me for? 
one he goes on the loose with an uncontrollable libido jumping from one woman to another that's what you take me for well i did not do it i don't know where she got that story from i did not do it okay so because of that she collected the car yeah well it's fine i mean i'm done with her i can't take that embarrassment and humiliation anymore you know, if someone had told me that Kelvin will leave Mona Lisa, I would doubt it myself. Mona Lisa is nothing but a heartbreaker. All she does is sleep with different men at will. <laughs> How do you know these things you're saying is true? I know that what I am saying is true. All she does is go about looking for men to break their hearts and destroy them. She changes them like she changes her undies. Mm. That's what she does. Who told you Mother Lisa is a heartbreaker? Mm. I know what I'm saying and that's fine. Is this not the same Mona Lisa you always talk high about? You, you talk so much about her. Now she's a heartbreaker. You know she's a heartbreaker. Ah, Kelvin. You amaze me. You amaze me. Mona Lisa. Yes, my lady. You're like a daughter to me. Hmm? I've been telling you. What you saw in that boy? Have I not told you to leave this boy and move on with your life? You're such an angel. Believe me. My lady, you will not believe that someone is giving Kevin a fake information about me. Really? Yes. And he believed the person? He, he did believe. What I don't understand is why this person is doing this. What the person intends to achieve. This person really wants me and Kelvin apart. And I'm sure the person is happy because he or she has achieved his or her aim. It's alright. There's something I want you to see. Take a look at this. My lady, my, my lady, please, how did you get this? You know you told me how Kevin has been behaving to you lately. I took it upon myself to send someone to find out why he's acting the way he's acting towards you. Lo and behold, that's who he's for making with. I told as much. So Kelvin is cheating on me. My lady, please, if you don't mind, can I have this picture? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense keeping the picture, but if you insist, why not? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. You better move on with your life. There are many young men out there that will appreciate you. Leave this young man. There's nothing good in him. I, have been I, I feel so broken. It's alright. It's alright. My lady, what's the problem? I'm not happy. Why? It's about Kevin. 
You love that boy. What happened? I broke up with him. You broke up with him? Why? Now, what do you mean by why? He was sleeping with you. That's the reason I collected my car kids from him and drove him out of my house. And what kind of insult is this? Are you insulting me because I came to your office? What do you mean by insult? Where is that one coming from? Isn't it obvious that he has been sleeping with you even before I met him? That boy is a boy that supplies pharmacy drugs for us from Obogunonicha. He's just my business partner. What? Yes! Oh. What is... Oh gosh. It's your fault now. You didn't explain better. And you should have waited to hear from me. I was only rushing to lock my shop with my girls. I think I'm out of here. Oh, just... Just calm down. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for reacting this way. Huh. That means you wrongly accused this boy for nothing. Now what do I do now? Will he even <sighs> listen to me? I mean, if I, oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, do, do you know what? Just calm down, okay? If he's for you, he would definitely come back to you. But if he didn't, then you have to look for a mature old man. Yourself. What is even wrong with you? You and maturity, age, number. What was all this? I'm, just, I'm telling you the truth. I love that young man. So, what do we do? I should be asking you. You caused it. You should have explained better. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? God is near. Can't you see, can't you see, can't you see? He knows your struggle. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. Just for you. Though sometimes it comes overwhelming, be calm. Though sometimes you feel so weary, be still. Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know, God is watching you. Oh yes, I know, I know, I know God is near Cause I have been there Struggle I know your struggle Your sorrow Kevin, Kevin, hold, hold on, hold on Baby, please. Just hear me out first, please. Say that I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did that out of, you know, jealousy. I was so jealous. I, I, I now felt maybe you were sleeping with my friend. But now I know better. No, sweetheart, please. I promise it won't happen again. Please. Yes, I promise. I'm sorry. I miss you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Of course, I promise to respect you. Have I not been res... All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, baby. Bye for now. Lisa, at first you said, Kevin became a different person after he visited your boss's house. Yes. After that day, I noticed some changes in him. And you also said, the day Kevin came to the house, your boss sent you to ShopRite. Yes, she did. Ah. <laughs> she must have, you know, told him something about you to make him hate you. And probably, it's left with that. Excuse you? Hey, Chelsea, too much said no will kill you. Sandra, yes. you're concurring to what she no, said. the whole dots are beginning to connect. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Where do you think he got that car from? Hmm? <laughs> what have I done wrong? Listen, Lisa. She's your boss. Boss lady, you are her PA. I believe you guys are close, okay? Listen, just henceforth, observe her. I'm sure you're going to find out many, many things. Mm. Oh. oh, now it is adding up. Now it is adding up. The dream. How come I didn't remember this dream all this while? Oh my god. I totally forgot. What 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 dream? I it's mine. I said let go of him. Never! I will not! This guy is mine. You gotta give up on him now. My lady, if you think I'm going to let you have my mind, then you have something else coming. I said, let go. Never. I do not. I, do not. I said, let him go. No. Let him go now. I will not. Mona Lisa. No. I'm not joking with you. I said, let him go. My lady. I, I said, shut up and let him go. I let him go. No. 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 Let him go. No. I said, let him go. No. Let him go. I will not. Mona Lisa. No. Let him go. No. Let him go now. No. I said, let him go. No. Let him go, Mona Lisa. No. Chelsea, you're right. Baby girl, every damn thing happening to you was shown to you. This would have never said. Well, let me ask. Why did you even allow Kevin to visit the house? It why? is not my fault. That was because he was insisting in knowing where I'm staying. Huh. Moreover, I had that dream a long time ago. I didn't even remember. You see, it is vital for we human to stay Awake in spirit. God reveals his mind to us to help us from straying via dream. To think that Lady Baba would not even allow me to leave her sight, even for a minute. But the moment Kelvin came into the picture, the moment Kelvin stuck his foot into the house, Lady Baba started telling me, take the day off. When will he go to visit your family? Go to you should automatically return back to my family house. Baby K, can I tell you the truth? This whole problem hmm? is not from Lady Barbara. I'm not blaming her. Really? Yes. Yes. I'm only blaming Kevin. How could he even allow himself to be deceived by that old woman? I don't get it. How? Money. Yes, so his irrational behavior is championed by money. Yes. You know. I wonder what that woman told him that made him fall out of love with Lisa. Yeah. Lady Barbara actually gifted me a car on my birthday. A car I did not ask for. She did that willingly. And then she turns around to tell Kelvin that I sleep around with men just because I wanted a car. Why would she do such a thing to me? Wow. One that she never sees. Are you being serious? You know what? I'm not surprised. One beat, I'm not surprised. 
Desperation can actually make people do things that are unimaginable. He's a desperado. Can't you see? He's reading all over him. He left me for a sugar mommy just because he wants to live a flamboyant life. Baby, I still blame you for everything. Letting Kevin into that house is a mistake. Sandra, it is not my fault. Why are you saying it like it's my fault? He's a gigolo. Sorry, okay? Sorry. Sandra, I feel, I, feel, I feel so bad. Don't you know? God is near. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? He knows you're strong. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, good afternoon. Is your madam in? Yes, sir. She did upstairs for her room. Okay, I would like to see her, please. Okay. Come in, sir. Barbara? I'm so... So this is true. So this is true. No. No. No! No! Night. 
She has the mind to sleep with my fiancé, Biba. How could she do such a thing? Don't do now. Yeah? Don't do. Don't be happy. Yeah? Everything will do okay. I promise them. I will never forgive them both. No, no. Biba will never forgive them both. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Hey. Hey. Which kind of thing is this one? Eh? Hey. Jesus Christ, I know we do real long. This guy is big, you know. Why won't take that small boy to now? Ah ah! He could just be just be shameless. Die, calm down. <laughs> Lady Baba died the moment she conceived in her mind to snatch my mother away from me. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I caused my boss. We killed him in bed. My husband to me. <laughs> I swear to God, Barbara will pay for this. I promise that she will pay for this. And I will go to the end of the end to make sure that she pays for snatching my man. Barbara! And I know you can hear me. And this is not the last of me, Barbara. And I promise you, you will pay for every tears that you have cost me. I promise you that, you evil woman. Open the gate. Open the gate. You don't have to watch yourself. Eh? Okay. Yeah, eh? Open the gate. Okay. Your car. Let me open the door gate for you. Oh, hold on. How can you mean, right? How can? Get in that car. Open the gate for me. Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know God is near Can't you see, can't you see, can't you see He knows your struggle Everything is gonna be alright It's gonna be alright Everything is gonna be alright Just for you Though sometimes it comes overwhelming Be calm Though sometimes you feel so weary, be still. Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know? God is watching you. Oh, yes, I know, I know, I know. God is near, cause I am. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I love her so much. I work passionately for her. This is the height of betrayal. I don't know why. I must tell you this. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Because when it slips out of your hands and falls, all of it will be damaged. Oh, oh God, oh God, please take me to the child free. Take me to the enemy that wants to kill myself. I want to end it now. What have you done yourself? Is it worth it? Is it worth dying for? Oh God, what is it? What is your problem? Can you just mind your business? I'm not talking to you. Oh God, take me to head bridge. Oh God. Take me to head bridge. I want to kill myself. Driver, don't take this lady to the head bridge. Obviously, she's going there to, 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 to commit suicide. 
Please. <laughs> okay, what is your own now? What is your problem? You want me to enter you? What is it? Leave me now. I want to see your problem. Leave me alone. Okay, if you know you want to take me to heaven, let me calm down. Whatever let me is, calm down. I want to go to heaven. Whatever it is, just hang in there. Hang in there and allow God to visit your situation. Oh, stop. Oh, stop this again. Stop this again. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, guys, so you should stop me. Stop. Oh, God. I thought you should stop me now. Stop this again. Let me look at it again. Calm down and allow God to take his place. Listen, you're a beautiful girl. You're a very pretty girl. You can't just waste away like that. Please, just let's go somewhere and talk it over. Please. I love him so much. I really love him with everything in me. Why will let my brother do this to me? What did I do? Okay. What did I do? It's fine. It's fine. Listen. It is okay. You will be fine. It's a matter of time, alright? You will be fine. I promise you. This is not the end of it. Okay? Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know? God is near. Can't you see, can't you see, can't you see? He knows your struggle. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. You know, I once had a neighbor who lost his beautiful wife to his friend because he was broke. Why? What happened? Please don't cry. Um, this is friend came back from Malaysia, stupidly rich. Saw that this my neighbor was married to the most beautiful woman in that area, but he was broke. <laughs> Instead of him to help his friend stand up again to his feet, the friend who sponsored his trip to Malaysia single handedly without complaining he decided to snatch away his wife. What? <laughs> I mean, why did he pay his good with evil? That's it. That my friend actually wanted to kill himself. But after a whole year, as God may have it, to the glory of God, he picked the remaining pieces of his life and decided to move on. He moved on anyway, you know. <laughs> So after then, what happened? So um, story has it that this my my neighbor's friend got married to the to the girl, then took her to Malaysia where where he based. Oh my God! Getting to Malaysia, he started locking the girl inside room. <laughs> you know, for the fear that his friends over there will snatch her away. From here. Don't you know, don't you know, so he is scared of karma. He is scared of karma because whatever goes around will surely come around. Exactly. <laughs> but as I speak to you now, they are no more together. Oh. Yes. Why? He came back and caught his wife making out with the guy he was sporting with in Malaysia. Amazing. Like things get lingered and. He had to send the wife back to Nigeria to her parents. <laughs> Do you know the funniest part? No. This same guy he was courting with flew all the way from Malaysia to Nigeria to marry this same girl. Are you are you are you kidding me? <laughs> like husband number three? Husband number three. Oh <laughs> but I thank God. I thank God today. 
This man live on all his doing, prospecting his girl in America. Why? He's not based in America, doing girls. Well, how did he do it? Uh, one of his cousin brother came back one certain time and saw that this my neighbor was in a sober reflection, so he decided to help. That's it. That's so nice of him. So, my dear. What a story. story is pathetic, but I don't know. Don't kill yourself, no matter what. Life is not always bad of roses. You need to pass through all these things. Even gold needs to pass through fire for it to be purified. You will be fine. I promise. Oh, my business woman. Ah, my interior decorator. How are you doing? How is business? Ah, I knew it. I just can't believe it. Ah, Lisa called and said um, she called you and your number was not going. What was the problem? Hope she's fine. She's on her way here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> talk to me. What's the problem now? What's, what, what's going on? I'm speechless. I cannot say it. When she gets here, she will tell you. But I hope it's not something bad. <sighs> Just wait for her. Babe, stop now. Yeah. Talk to me. What is it? Don't don't be like this. What is it? Sorry, can you calm down? Calm down. She will be here soon. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you so very thank much. God I'm almighty. most grateful. Thank God. Hmm? Um, please, can I can I get to see you again? Sure, you can. Let, let me have your phone. Um, you know what, my dear? The best is yet to come. Alright? You know, as they say, beautiful ones are not yet born. Listen. You're a very beautiful lady. And I believe that one day, one day, a man, like not boys in, 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 in man's in man's body. I mean a man who knows your worth will definitely come for you. Thank you All so right? much. Thank you. I'm most grateful. Mm -hmm. But then I want to ask, are you a pastor or something? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not a pastor. Why do you ask? Nothing. I just feel like asking. Um, all right, thank you so much. I'll call you. You're welcome. Lady Barbara has been the one telling Kelvin lies about me. What? I knew it. How did you find out? I caught him making out in my boss's bedroom. Jesus Christ. Whoa. I mean, 
mean, how could he do such a thing? <sighs> Being Brother Cook called me. And then she told me what those two have been doing. At first, it was very difficult for me to believe. I mean, I couldn't even imagine myself believing what Bimba said to me. But then I remembered what Chelsea said. That whoever that is doing this to me or to my relationship is someone that is close to me. And Lady Barbara is one person that is so close to me. And then I decided to go to the house to see things for myself. Behold, that was what I saw. Pimba told me that Kelvin just stepped in. And that my boss, Lady Barbara, that I love so much, that I sacrifice so much for, that I do everything for, is about to propose to Kelvin. Propose! <laughs> Hold on. Did you say propose? Like, proposal for, propose for marriage? Wait, and the fool accepted. The fool accepted. I mean, I thought <laughs> Kevin is classy. Oh, all men are the same. Oh. I mean, how could he? Without even thinking of what, what his father would... Oh no, this is bad. I'm sure the father will be so broken. Babes. That man will be so shattered. I mean, why would Kelvin do this to me? Why would he even imagine this? I thought he loved me. I thought he loved me, Sandra. After the proposal, I barged into my boss's room. So I have lost my Kelvin. I have lost my Kelvin to foolishness. Sandra! <laughs> my God. Lisa, I, I think you should forget about him and move on. By the time he realizes that he has been a fool all this while, it will be too late for him. That is exactly what I was about to say. He doesn't deserve you. Yes. Really? <laughs> really? Do you know that I almost lost my life today? If not that a co-passenger in the tricycle I bought brought me here, I would have been a dead person. I broke down in tears in the tricycle. And the only thing that came to my mind was suicide. What? Suicide. Lisa! <laughs> well, don't tell me you thought of taking your life. Of course! Sandra, I am broken, I am shattered, I am devastated! With everything I saw today! Do you think it's not worth taking my life? I want to act it all. No, no. Suicide is not an option. Mm -mm. At all. Not at all. She took the only thing that gives me joy. She took Kevin away from me. Lisa, Kevin doesn't love you. He doesn't love you. I mean, you just said you caught them on bed. How could he even do such a thing? I mean, only God knows the lie he told him. She told him that I made him do all of that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting it. No matter the lies she told him, he should have, you know, verified from from. The one he claimed to love. Is that it? No, Alyssa. Let me tell you the truth. Kevin doesn't love you that much. At all. How could he even condescend it so low as to have something to do with that old woman? I mean, you just said you caught them on bed. I'm repeating myself again. You caught them on bed. Babe, come on. Love itself doesn't hurt. It doesn't ask why. He believed all her lies, hook, lies and sinkers. But I ask him questions. That fool got carried away with money. It's all about money for him. That means that he Exactly. <sighs> Did you tell your old man about us? <sighs> you 
Yes, I did. So, what did he say? I lied to him about your age. I know. You told him I'm way older than you are. Yeah. So, uh, uh, let me know what he said. Just tell me everything. Well, he is, uh, he argued that, uh, you're too old for me and that I cannot marry you. My uncles were of the same opinion to be. They believe the age disparity is too much. And? Well, I told them with or without them, I am going ahead with this marriage. So, um, when you told them that, what was their reply to you? Well, that's when my father asked me to bring you. To bring me? Yeah. Oh, I'm happy. I'm seriously, I am happy. The only thing that matters to me right now is just to be called your wife. I love you very much. And there is nothing that will stop me from being with you. Oh, Doku. <laughs> I am fine. How is the United States of America? What they can. <laughs> Man, I almost given up on my search before this beautiful girl entered the tent of the with me. Yeah, we seated on the same seat. Immediately she entered, she burst into tears. Ask the keke driver to take her to Monica Head Bridge. I don't know, maybe to drown herself. Uh, from her narratives, we are, we are, you know, we are two of a kind. Yes, uh, her boss lost uh, her, her boyfriend because she was richer. I don't know, I am... I'll be proposing to her today. Let's see how it goes. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, are you ass. A very big guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that one. No, yeah. <laughs> he is watching you. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright for you. Everything is gonna be alright. Good day, Lady Barbara. So, what do you want? I'm here for my salary. Your salary? Yes. Your salary. So, that's the reason you just batched into my office. Like your father owns it. Like you're the owner of my company. Such gods. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pay your salary. You know, four times your salary. I will. Da 
closet. This is my salary. Everything is gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright for you. Hello. Um, how are you today? Good to know. It's nothing, so where are you? Can we see it today? Yeah, I am somewhere around um, in Tapua roundabout. Yes. Okay, okay. Good. Don't go some it, sir. Don't go some it. Okay. Yeah, is this how they drive? Hey, I'm not letting you go if you batch my car. I would still want to know you more, like know your parents, your siblings, what they do and their base. <clears throat> okay, so as you already know, my name is Mona Lisa Chuba. I'm the third child and the first daughter of Prof in Prof Mrs. Chuba. My parents are both lecturers in Delta State University, Abraka precisely. Wow. And I'm based here in the summer, yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. Really? Yes. Um. <sighs> um, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you for the other day in the tricycle. I mean, if not for you, I would have been a dead person by now. I mean, that day was, my head was filled up. I was, I don't know, but thank you so much. Thank you, I'm most grateful. It's fine. And I also thank God for using me to stop you from committing suicide that day. That day was terrible. Indeed it was. But we passed it, thank God. Um, Mona Lisa. I I don't know how to say this, but I must say it anyways. I I want us to take this relationship to another level. Um, hello. <clears throat> I'm not even sure. I don't know if I want this or not. I mean, considering the fact that I'm just coming out from a bad relationship and you know what I went through. I don't even know if I'm ready for this or if I actually want this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Trust me. I know how you feel. But um, do you remember the story I told you about my neighbor? Ooh. His wife was lost. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember. He's now based in America. Yes, he said that his cousin actually helped him okay. move to UK. I am that my neighbor. Yes. So you see, I've been there. I have been there before. I know mm -hmm. what you're really talking about. So my dear. Why? Don't you allow this to flow. Let's heal together. 
right? I can be that man. I am a different person. Right? I am not going to do anything to hurt your feelings. Though I am not perfect, but I'll try my best to make sure you're happy. You can do this, please. So girls, what do you think? Listen, your case here is not entirely hopeless. Yes, it's not. I know life may have hit you so hard, but then I still believe you have this power to change it. You know what? Why not to marry a loser man? And follow him to US. By the time Kevin realizes his mistakes, huh? You're far away. Yes. Ulrike, what do you think? Exactly. So Chelsea, you think I should I should accept Elizabeth? Is that what you think? No, there is nothing wrong with a man shooting his shot. He has done that. Oh girlfriend, search your heart. Do you feel anything for him? <laughs> I don't even know what my heart is telling me. Then you're not ready for any relationship. You mean, I, I, I think you should take some time and free your mind from Kelvin. Obviously, you've lost him to your boss. You know, and Johnson told me that um, he's getting married to his sugar mommy. You know, he met with his kinsmen and they rejected his choice of a wife. But he's going ahead with the marriage. That's, that, that boy is really monkers. I don't, I don't get it. You can say that again. But I'm sure he will realize himself when he's done making that mistake. It'll be okay. You'll be fine, trust me. This is not really easy for me, Sandra. I don't understand. I loved him so much. Don't even believe that Kelvin was going to leave me for Lady Barbara just because of money. Money, Sandra. Oh. What? No, not really. I'm fine. It's okay. Lisa, I understand how you feel, okay? Love and its complications, but you have to embrace it, okay? Lisa, please stop it. I understand everything. I mean, I understand every bit of it. I do. I'm a woman like you. I know you are at the verge of breaking apart. But then just put yourself together. I still urge you to accept Elizabeth's proposal. Marry him and follow him to you ways. It will help you to heal faster, right? Well, Lisa, do not get married to Elizabeth as, as an instrument of healing. Don't get married to him if you have strong feelings for him. Stop. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Lisa, stop. Please. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for everything. Even when I act so irrational. You would ask the death for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are friends for? It's okay. Oh, uh, fine. Trust me. My phone. What do you mean? Who's calling you? It's oh, it's hello. Hello? I'm fine. Oh, yes. Oh, nothing really. I'm just, just about going home. Oh, 
All right, then that'll be fine. I'll be waiting. All right. Take care. Um, girls, he said he's coming to pick me up. Okay, I can't wait to meet him. Same here. <clears throat> What's that? Uh, no, I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? What don't you understand? Like, I can't wait to meet him. Oh. Yeah. He's super in. He thought. Just go ahead and not to Okay. Hello, girls. Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, your friends? Oh yeah. Um, Sandra and Chelsea. Oh. They're actually my friends way back from Delsa. Wow. And girls, meet Chimi Luzanamu. Oh. <laughs> You have beautiful friends here, yeah, I must say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She, please. Have a seat. You, she, thank like you. That. Oh. you must be um, small exclusive. Yes, I am. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, um, <laughs> you've done well for yourself. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Thank you. Wonderful. So what about um, getting some few hairs for my endocardium here? <laughs> <laughs> We've stopped. No, I'm shy. That'll be. That'll be nice, though. Uh, really? Yes. Oh. All right, babe. Oh. Let's check oh. it out. Oh, no, 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 babe. Um, you know, I'm a very shy type. Let's just okay. make use of our phone. I'll make yeah, my choice here. Yeah. Like okay. okay. Wow, this is nice. Babe, look at this. It's beautiful, but um, I prefer this one. This she don't like this one? No, 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 no I don't like it. it. Oh. Oh, it's quite expensive. Why is it? Oh, wait, 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 look at this one! This is so nice! I love this, babe, look at it. this. Oh, fancy. it's beautiful. This one is... How much is it? Three fifty. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. Oh, come That's on. too expensive. Darling, I'll take care of it. What? Right? Don't worry. Baby, it's expensive. Don't we can... worry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just, let, let me show oh, you another one. Choose more. But it's 500. But you're going to like it, trust me. Choose more. It's my choice. And I've chosen you. My father has no choice but to accept you. Okay? So just relax. Calm down. Calm and <laughs> down. Right. I love you. I love you much more. Thank 
yes. Come, come, come. Come. Come back, come. Meet the love of my life. My jewel of inestimable value. My backbone. The one who gives me immense peace of mind. What's, what's Abomination! Sacrilege in my home! I, I, I don't understand. What, what's abominable about her? What, what's the abomination? Chiwindu. Are you referring to Barbara's Chiwindu? What exactly is going on here? So, you were the sugar mommy that has been sleeping with Kevin. Your own son! Help! Help! What are you talking about? What's What's going on here? What do you mean by... What do you mean by she's been sleeping out with her own son? Are you saying... Wait a minute. Are you saying Barbara is my mother? Come on, no, that's not even possible. You told me that my mother is in jail in London. That's what you told me, right? Why is no one talking? What's going on here? Why is no one talking? She abandoned you with my mother. <laughs> and disappeared with everything I worked for. Everything. <laughs> this devil! Barbara disappeared. Wait, Father, is she is she the one you've been telling me? Is, is she the one you've been referring to? You, you said, uh, uh, no, 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 no. No. Barbara is my mother. Barbara. No. 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 get tired of looking at you. It's not possible. Stop it. You see that cute little smile? <laughs> okay. Let's toast to a beautiful thing. Yeah. A beautiful. Oh. Okay. of time I could pick a moment of all the days I've lived and not missed. 
I am going to feel the moment I met you because you're a significant part of all good people in my life and a positive contributor to my success. You are so natural. You are interactive. You are attractive, beautiful, and presentable. It's not as though I've got enough money or material things to offer you, but I am going to promise you the greatest gift of all, which is my love. I love you so much with all my heart. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She returns every call that she stole from me. Madam, yes. you are under arrest. No, no. Now, come with us. No, no, please, 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 officer, please. Madam, you sweet. Officer, I'm begging you, please, sir. Uh, Charles, 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 please. We can settle this amicably as one family. What are you still waiting for? Move her away! Charles, madam. Charles, you know I have phobia for police. I'm Hello, you. madam. Yes. I don't want us to mishandle you. Now, move it up. Officer! Move on. Yes. Don't touch me. I'm Charles, I'm begging. Let's go. Charles. Let's go. Charles, please. Charles. Go. go. Charles. Madam, Charles. move. Hey, don't, 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 don't. Please. Daddy, what, what's going on? Who is that woman? That is the sugar mommy that your stupid friend has been sleeping with. Jesus. And plan to marry his own mother. My God, the... Kelvin! Ha! God, this is outrageous now. And this is the woman that almost killed me! No, 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 no. You... She abandoned that fool when he was just two years old and made away with every cobra I made from the United Kingdom. That fool! W where's Kelvin? That stupid, fool, foolish friend of yours is inside. Kelvin! Kelvin! What is the problem, Johnson? His wife? How? I don't understand. What? You don't mean it. Okay, fine. How did how did Mr. Kelvin catch her?
Justin, are you sure about this? So you mean to say that Kelvin has been committing issues with his own mother? Jesus Christ! You know what, Jensen? I'm somewhere right now. When I get home, I'm going to call you, okay? I'll call you. Babe! What? Do you mean Kelvin has been sleeping with his own mother? That is, that is what Johnson is saying. That is what he's telling me now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This one is very bad. Very, very bad. They need to go for cleansing, which is all e o r o in Igbo. Failure to do so. Is either they go mad or they will die. Eh? Eh, are you not Igbo? Oh God. This is unbelievable. This is absurd. You know what, babe? Let's just go home, okay? When we get home, I'll, I'll call Johnson back to ask him what really happened. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. What? Yes, DPO. My son committed incest with the mother. Yes, they, they were not aware of it. Um, she actually abandoned him when he was two and made away with all my money. Yes, right now his life is at stake. He's cursed. And he's my only son. So they need to go to the village so that uh, some kind of traditional cleansing can be done on them. Yes. Uh, well, what I want you to do is to release her so that uh, she can go for the cleansing to save my son's life. Of course, you will take her back into custody when the cleansing is done. Uh, well, uh, she promised transferring the sum of 50 million naira to me. Even though... Uh, the money she made away with was far more than that. In that case, you can bring her to my house so that she can do the transfer. It's all right. Oh, TP, I'm so grateful, okay? Thank you, my friend. Bye. <laughs> mm. My son is here. Wow. Mm. Oh, Jimmy is there now. Looking mm. <laughs> good. You're welcome. Mama. You're welcome, son. Mm. Sunshine, the woman who carried me in her womb for nine months without complaining. I'm from Lesser. Meet my mother, Madam Patricia. Mother. Mona Lisa, my sunshine. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ma. You're welcome, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Ah, you can see. I'm cool, enjoying my son's money. <laughs> this big mansion. He built for me. Me alone. Oh, you can see that thing in there. You see that? Mama. You're welcome. Why won't you enjoy my money? You know, I could still remember how you sold your beautiful vapors mm. and a tin of your jewelry to sponsor my education. Uh, <laughs> we thank God for everything. Now I have money. Hmm? I have no more for my. Mm -hmm. yeah? I'm going to throw my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's uh, a loser now. 
So my ah. She's the woman I want to marry. <laughs> She's beautiful. Son, you've always had eyes for beautiful of things. Of course. <laughs> I am my friend of mine. Thank you, Mom. Hi. Uh. <sighs> Son. Mother. At this juncture, there's something you need to know. What is it? I hope there is no problem. <sighs> it's time you met your biological father. Yes. My late husband is not your biological father. <clears throat> Chin Ilusanam, you are Igbo. My late husband was an Uroba man. I think we should do things right this time around. You're getting married. You need his blessings. There's need for him to know about you and you also meet him. You never can tell. At times I think, was that why your marriage to Isioma? suddenly packed up. So, Mother, you mean Ogenem Maru wasn't my father? No. He was not your biological father. <sighs> your father is here in Asaba. Yes. He is a good man. He is a good man. It's just that I didn't oblige him marrying me when he asked for my hand in marriage. I vamosed with the pregnancy to worry where I met my late husband. So mother, if he is a good man as you said, why didn't you marry him? Instead, you walked away with the pregnancy. His story was a complicated one. Besides, the affair that brought about your pregnancy was a mistake on my own part. Out of sympathy, I slept with him. That I should never have done. All right. Yeah. I name If Kill it 
just a shock religion Shock religion oh, Shock religion Oh yeah I knew what you were Has killed a lot of people. Have you seen what your love and money can do? Have you seen what could be the aftermath? Tears and regret, pain and hurt, all by yourself. Look at her. Your mother <laughs> around the village is not easy. But you should have paid it for my sake. Can you why? Can you why? Why? I have lost my only son. With the 50 million naira that you when you transfer to me, there can never be joy in my heart. What is money without a child? Why? I have myself to blame also. I kept lying to him. I should have told him the truth about his mother. Oh. Maybe I should join him wherever he is. What am I still living for? Yes, come in. Come in. Come in. Oh, Dad. Mona Lisa. Yes, baby. You're here. Yes, good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. Got you. Who are 
Your fiancé? Yes. You're getting married? Yes, I'm getting married. Oh. Wow. Mr. Charles? Yes. I am Auntie Patricia. Sorry, my bad. Sit down, sit down. I'm only aware of uh, one Auntie Patricia that uh, I looked into my own child. Look, could you be the one? Here he is. His name is Chim Iluzonam. What? You mean this young man is my son? Yes, Father, I, I'm your son. I, I lost the son. My God, you have brought another for me. Thank you. I, I don't understand. Dad, where is Kelvin? Oh. Where is Kelvin? Oh. Kelvin committed suicide. What? Yeah because he couldn't bear the shame that he brought upon himself. Dad, you mean Kelvin is dead? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, Kelvin, is dead. Kelvin my handsome young friend. He died two days ago. My son, Father, please come. Father, listen. Come, my daughter. Well, Lydia, let me, let me pray for you. Um, your marriage is blessed. Amen. You will born male children. Amen. You will born female children. Amen. You will live long. Amen. And you will be prosperous. Amen. Female children. Amen. You will live long.